Good, good angle. No, I'm you can't. I'm just gonna lean in. You can't see your knee. Well, I want to show the credenza. Crescent, credenza. What is it Console, called? Console, credenza, sideboard, media unit. Hi there, and welcome to Two Lesbians and a Plan. We're gonna make this. We're gonna take an IKEA. We're gonna take calyx. a calyx, an IKEA calyx, and we're gonna turn it into a crescent, credenza. credenza. Look at this. I'll put the thing there, okay? Okay, that's what we're gonna do. Okay, so hi, I'm Willow. This is my partner, Jenny. She's an interior designer and I have charisma. This ugly, I bought this a long time ago. How much are these things? Like 100, 150? 150 bucks, Canadian. So let's say like 110 US uh, from Ikea. And it does the job, but you can see all the stuff and it looks junky and gross. So we're gonna put shelves on it. Yeah, so basically um, it's, it's pretty simple because I don't do complicated woodworking DIYs. So oh, okay. um, it's, it's pretty doable. You don't need any like wood cutting tools. Oh, okay. Um, it's just like whatever power tools are in your house are fine. And essentially we are just going to paint this, install little legs and make, no make doors for, what? to cover all the shit that's inside the unit. I put the whole TikTok there. So they, they know, they know. Yeah. People are doing this, you know, we stole it from this girl, but yeah. lots of people do it. Um, okay. So first thing that we're going to do is we're, I'm going to take all the trash out of there, right? Yeah. So I'm going to do that first. And okay. I'm going to water the plants. P Plant Baby Studios. That's why I date her. <laughs> Damn, look at you. Jenny's in a cute little skirt because she had an accident. Uh, okay, well first I have to give a disclaimer. Don't look if burns and things disgust you or scare you. Okay, look at Jenny's knee. <gasps> this is it healing. Yeah, okay. Now I'll do a quick story time. Are you getting a TikTok? Yeah. Follow us on TikTok. Um, so we have an older house and we run out of hot water sometimes life and jenny likes to take baths so sometimes actually all the time when she's taking a bath we have to bo boil a kettle and then we boil like water on the stove like that old olden times so jenny was in the bath and then sometimes i'd come and bring her like an extra kettle if she wants extra hot water or like whatever so like i came in and to be fair like lots was going on obviously with like nala if you don't know about her cat, that's another thing. But, um, you know, my brain was just somewhere else and I was like rushing, trying to do a thousand things. I brought in the hot kettle, not thinking, and I just like misstepped and poured the burning hot kettle on her knee. It was, it honestly, I still have nightmares about it. I feel so bad. She's such a trooper, but yeah. So that's what we've, well, mostly Jenny's been going through. Poor yeah. girl. I burnt her kneecap off. It was an accident, but I felt so bad. Anyway, um, back to the crescenda. What's the color we're painting? What's it we're called? We're painting it like a creamy white. Creamy white, But first okay. we're putting a primer on. Oh, okay. We're doing a primer. Because primer makes the, the paint stick to it better? Yeah. Look, look at me. Babe, we might be the new lesbian DIY, DIYs. DIYers? Yeah. DIY is really hard for people with dyslexic. Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, I always mix it up. The primer? Yeah. Not sponsored. It's not cheap. No? It's not cheap, but it's what people recommend when you're painting IKEA furniture specifically. Oh, really? Yeah. Pull a lesbians trying to make their place. Fancy on a budget because we live in Vancouver, the most expensive city in Canada. Okay. Had our dinner, rated pretty high. It was very good actually. And now we're gonna paint a little bit tonight. So what's this color called? It's Bear Swiss Coffee. Swiss Coffee. 
Home Depot. Our favorite place. Not sponsored, but please. Look at that. Oh my God, here we go. Gorgeous. I it's like nice. it. It's just creamy, warm white. Creamy, warm white. Exactly. Cool. I'm doing it. First coat. Looks good. I painted my arm. Do you have paint on you? Yeah, mm -hmm. a little. Yeah. I just want people to know I'm an artist. Next day. Pretty good, eh? Do a couple of touch up. Jenny is in her office. She's working. And uh, I'm just gonna do quick, quick touch-ups. Then I also went to home, home hardware today, and I got latches for the uh, the doors when we close them. So just picked these up at home hardware. Just got two of them. They're like two fifty each. Touched her up, looking good. Now here's all the pieces that we have to put the doors on, but also put uh, the legs on to raise it like as feet. Jenny got these from Amazon, I believe. Uh, look up feet, I think. Um, maybe, you know what, I'm gonna be really helpful. I'm gonna link everything that we used at the bottom. It's not affiliate, it's not nothing, but just to make your life easier, I'll link everything that we used at the bottom. This is the wood we got. We can. I'll put for with the cuts we did. Again, we're just following that Amazon, or that TikTok girl. These, are the doors and this is the full frame, right? I don't know what the short. Yeah, so to make the door, it's like this. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Got it, got it. Okay. Or is it like that? Flat. Yeah, yeah flat, flat. Flat. Cool, 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 cool. Wood glue. Um. Obviously, are we glue? Oh no, we're gonna hinges. 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 I don't know what I'm doing. Um, okay, so I'm gonna paint these all white and then we gotta let things dry. Um, yeah, oh, these are the brackets, all the hinges. Again, uh, I'll link everything, but I'm pretty sure this is home hardware. Home Depot. Home Depot, sorry. I'm a lesbian, I should know that. Okay, so we're not gonna paint because the girl didn't paint first. So we're going to measure everything up. Uh, connect the brackets and then connect the wood and then we'll sand them down and then paint, I guess. Figured it out. We're going to attach one of them. Well, that's a bracket, I believe it's called. It's called a... Corner bracket. Uh, this is the measurement that you need. Corner bracket. Um, and so Jenny will then drill a hole into that and then you glue them together like the corners it's like extra stability okay 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 and then how long do you hold it like that for well then you just screw in the oh. rest <gasps> it's sliding around a second okay this is the first frame this was actually Harder than I thought it was gonna be, but it's fine. <laughs> it always is. The glue was connected. I don't love how this looks here. But anyway, we're learning. This is the first one. How do you feel? Good. I'm gonna show you guys what the backs look like. Okay. My smart girlfriend put this was like let's flip it on the on, on its back so you can put the legs in this way perfect wood takes up a lot of paint tip there's 
two types of people in this world. Uh, one are people that can paint and like barely get anything on them. And then there's people like me who paint themselves art. All right, we are realizing that this um, project is gonna take probably six days. Um, but we're going to flip this now and see if the legs work. Jenny's so tall, she's not really in the shop, but that's fine. Okay. Ooh. Okay. <sighs> Look at that. It's very tall now. Oh, nice. So you guys can see it. Looks good. The legs look good. Yeah. Oh, the white looks so good with the plants already. Oh, I'm feeling good. Welcome back. Oh, Jenny's just putting ice in her um <laughs> in her water bottle. Listen to it. It's the perfect time for me to start my vlog. Look at my hair. Um, I think like I think two two weeks has passed, maybe a week. Uh, since we've updated on this or redone this vlog, it it's hard. It's hard. I mean, Jenny works, <laughs> so like after work, it's like the last thing you want to do is is this, you know, um, and just life. But today's the day. We're gonna finish this. All we have to do is put the doors on. Um, we ended up having to get longer screws for the doors, but good news is, I mean, it already looks so good. Then I was worried about these, right? With the wood glue and everything. They're pretty sturdy, which feels really good. They look good. So we're gonna put the cane webbing on and then we're going to um, fasten them on and the hinges and then that's it. That's it. And then Jenny can style it or whatever. Oh, oh my God. I don't think I showed you guys. We, she did the maps. She did the maps. Oh my God. I don't think I updated them on so much. Also look at how Jenny, look how cute she looks for this. And look at, show them babe. She's just eating ice cubes right now. Listen to this crunch. Damn. Style. Follow us to style. I guess what we can do is cut the cane webbing okay. to size and okay. put it in the bathtub to soak. Oh my God, that's what you do? I think so. Okay. How long does it soak for? Like 15 minutes. Oh, okay. Or I guess it can soak longer. I was like, I need, a, I need a shower at some point. How long does my cane webbing? Where do you pick up cane webbing, Jenny? I picked this up from a like really niche bamboo oh. rattan store in like industrial what? little store. You can get cane webbing online. You can get it on Etsy. You can get it from like unique individual retailers. Um, just, I guess search. Thing. Yeah, it's like a specialty item. Okay, sure, that wasn't that helpful, but thank you, Jenny. I don't know, do we need to soak it? I, babe, I've never touched cane webbing in my life. Maybe we don't, maybe we can just do go it for it. And go for it. So, okay, another question of mine. Yeah. How are we fastening it to this? With a staple gun. Okay, and we have one of those. Yeah, okay. I got one. Is it hard to cut it or is it pretty easy? It's pretty easy. So many things are happening very fast. So Jenny fastened the two of them together to make one big one, which is great. How's it looking? Amazing. Okay, I'll show you guys in the back. I should just use these anchors. I think they're called anchors. Are you gonna do a third one? Yeah. Okay. I don't think I need two. I think just, just one, one is enough. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We gotta remember too that magnet's super strong. Yeah. So you just wanna make sure that like they don't pull. First go, the cane webbing. It's a little loose, but. A little loose. Okay, well, that was our curve. first go. So we need to go even tighter? Uh, yeah, I think I instead know. of going down all the way on one side, we should just go like each side bit by bit. I don't even know what that means, but I'll have to see it. So instead of stapling all the way down one side, okay. do one staple side. here, oh, one to staple make sure, here. Back yeah. and forth to make sure. That looks good. It's more see through than I thought it was gonna be. True. Like I thought it was really gonna hide our things, but 
It's pretty good. Yeah, actually. It's, it's only good. just showing colors. That looks so good. Okay, so I didn't want to show you guys yet because it looks so good, but there's one side of the door. Look at that. So good. Now we're gonna put these knobs on. I think I've I'll link everything below, okay? And then we're just waiting for that frame to dry and then we'll do this one. All right, we are at the last, this is the last haul. This is it. This the is going to be stretch. the last stretch. You're probably like, what? Where'd you come from, Willow? We just had a photo shoot with Sydney. Do you guys remember Sydney? Your first time She's meeting her. What'd you think? Amazing. We may or may not. We had a little photo shoot at a bowling alley. Go to my Instagram, go to Jenny's Instagram. It's probably up by now, by the time I upload this video. But it was our first, it was your first time doing a couple's photo shoot. And how did it feel? I loved it, it was so much fun. Yeah, it was cute. Also, Sydney's taller than Jenny, so it was so funny to see Jenny stand next to someone taller than her, because Jenny looked short. <laughs> that was the biggest takeaway. Anyway, we're going to put these doors on, and then we're gonna, Jenny's gonna style it, and we're gonna be done. We're gonna be done. We're gonna be done. <laughs> this is the longest DIY project I've ever taken but on. But you love it. Yeah, it makes me so happy. You like, you were like, what? You wanna do another one? Yeah. <laughs> um, you got it. I think I'm okay. So it's officially done. I would say it took us, realistically, a span of over... Jen, how long do you think this took us? Like four or five weeks? Uh, yeah, like 20 hours spread apart. Yeah, so like 20 hours altogether consecutively. And then um, I would say over like four or five weeks. I mean, you bought the stuff in November. Yeah. It looks great and I'm very proud of it and I can like show people and I'm like, I love this. And there were so many times that we were like, it's not gonna work out. Yeah. <laughs> we thought it was gonna look like shit. It was really encouraging that like, it was very much like a step-by-step -step process. So like every time we got to the next step, we were like, oh, okay, you know? And when you get to the end, it's really um, affirming. I can, I'm gonna link everything down below if you wanna do it yourself. Maybe put in the comments if you're like, I did this and it, I did it a cheaper way. Um, but anyway, that's our first DIY, DIY, dyslexic. Um, I don't know, I'm proud, we did it. Will we do this again? What's our next product, De Jen? Mm, we gotta make art for above the sofa. Jenny's gonna do that. Jenny does like macrame. I don't do that. I'll try to help, but I'll make the vlog. Um, oh, and then my next things in my office is we gotta put up the shelf, which we already have. And then we have to put the, the beautiful, Maps up. Okay, thanks for hanging out with us. Um, see you in the next one. Goodbye. Jenny, you want to say bye? Bye, guys. <laughs>